Hello guys, oh it looks kind of bald, hold on. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see by the title of this video, Dagan and I are going on a little like mini vacation. Why is my hand shaking? Probably because I haven't had any food at all. Last minute we decided that we wanted to get out of town real quick before he has to sign back in from leave from when we were on vacation. So the other day we were like, you know what? Let's just like book a hotel and go to San Antonio for a couple days. And that's what we're doing. We're doing a little mini vacay. So I figured I'd take you guys along with us. I've never been to San Antonio. We've stopped through San Antonio once when we were coming back from the beach. But other than that, we've never gone to like the Riverwalk or explored or anything. So I'm really excited. We got a hotel on the Riverwalk and I'm really excited because guess who we're bringing? Buddy, are you excited? Are you gonna come to San Antonio with us? Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you excited to go to San Antonio with us? Can you see it? Hello, excuse me, sir. You're on camera. Bro, are you excited? I didn't have the camera on him, but uh, Chance just attempted to jump into the back of the car. But when he jumped into the back of the car, he actually jumped on the hood of our other car. What? Chancey, are you excited? All right, so we just made a little pit stop. I had to pee so bad, you guys. We stopped and got um, Dutch Bros. And I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I feel like as if I'm like, as I'm getting older, Caffeine and my bladder do not mix well together and I take two sips of caffeine whether it's like coke or co coffee and I'm like my bladder's like mm. so we had to stop we're at Bucky's shocker I got the Alamo turkey sandwich I haven't had this one before cheese puffs cheese puffs pickle oh yeah Dagan got we always see this every time we go into the store but we never get it so Dagan got this like what is it just a dill pickle we're gonna eat these real quick and get back on the road. Not bad. Pretty good. Okay. We're gonna finish these and then get back on the road. And I will see you guys when we get to our hotel. Okay guys, so we just uh, took Chance to the tea garden. into our hotel room and they upgraded us because a part of our credit card and points and everything we get like complimentary upgrades that they have availability and you guys I am I've never been in a hotel this nice before and I am geeking out hardcore this place is absolutely like stunning like I'm in shock I, I like I can't I, I'm in shock I have to show you guys this hotel it is this room is <sighs> so you walk into the front we have the beautiful bathroom, which we'll go in in a second. But here we have the bedroom. Look at this amazing bed. We have ceiling to floor, windows, table, TV. We have a very hot chance from his walk, who's exploring the place. Just absolutely beautiful. There's another door, by the way, on the other side. They gave us like two keys for two doors. Like you can get in either door, it's, it's phenomenal. Closet. And then we have the second bathroom. Look at this, you guys. I am geeking out. I have never been in a hotel this nice before. Like, I'm speechless. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Lamps. Beautiful lamp. I love lamp. Do you really love the lamp or are you just saying it because you saw it? This bathtub, which I will definitely be using this tonight. Toilet. We got a shower back here too, but you guys, this is, I'm speechless. All right, so after you walk out, there's Dagan back there. After you walk out of the bedroom, there is the other bathroom, which you see right when you walk in. Beautiful lighting, by the way. Second mirror, hello. And then kind of same setup in here with like the shower and everything. Chances exploring everything. By the way, so the hotel that we're staying at is the Mokara Hotel in downtown San Antonio. It's right on the Riverwalk. And they're very, very pet friendly. The pet fee is a little bit expensive, but we're paying points with our cards. So we're pretty much like not paying anything. And they're super, super pet friendly. So if you're in the area and you have funds for it, this hotel so far is amazing. Okay, so after you walk out of the bathroom, then we have like the living quarters. Huge um, mirror. Can I get this for my house, please? Thank you so much. We have like the living room, large TV. Dagan's running away from the camera right now. But we have couch, chair, just like huge space. This is a Murphy bed, um, which obviously we don't need, but just a huge setup. A little coffee, table, desk area, another mirror, hello. And then this is really, really cool. So out here, we have our little balcony and then down below you guys can see the river walk like down there which we will go to later tonight i'm just like speechless i've never stayed in this nice of a hotel before like i'm just in awe right now we are so blessed and lucky they they, they upgraded us so we weren't even supposed to be in this room but like i said we got a free complimentary upgrade with our credit card and everything and it's just like honey what are your thoughts on the hotel it's big it's it's really big it is yeah i definitely like i i'm like speechless right now this is a beautiful hotel i feel very blessed that we uh, get to stay in this room for the night so and i think chance is very happy he can people watch from the windows we jumped there bubba we jumped there all right we're gonna decompress a little bit like i said we went to the tea garden before this and it was it was very hot we were like in and out chance was really hot we're gonna chill for a little bit and then go up to the pool they have a rooftop uh, pool with a bar and everything. So we're gonna grab some drinks and just hang out and enjoy our time while we're here. Are you a happy boy? Are you a happy boy? Yeah, you such a good boy. Alrighty guys, so we are back from the pool, all dressed and ready for dinner. I just have this floral shirt and my go-to like blue dress pants. The sun is going down right now and it's absolutely gorgeous. So we are going to head to dinner. Real quick though, I wanna show you guys the sunset on the balcony because it is, I don't know what he's saying, but it is gorgeous out there right now. You guys, this view is stunning. The sun's going down right over there. There's people that are doing like a little carriage rides down there. I'm obsessed with this view, you guys. Oh, the bells are going. Back there. There's a little church right over like behind me. So the bells have been going off, but this is absolutely stunning. I uh, forgot sweatpants, so I am wearing the latest and greatest of robes. What do we think? We just had breakfast delivered to us. I feel like such a bougie person. It's like uncomfortable, but I kind of like it. So we had breakfast delivered to us. Let me show you what we got. So for breakfast, we just ordered eggs, potatoes, and bacon. Nothing fancy. Dagan got the same thing. We have some toast, condiments. I got some orange juice and look at Dagan's little cappuccino we got. Isn't that so cute? 
So we're gonna have some breakfast. We might actually eat out on the balcony. The weather, it's kind of cloudy today, which wish it was a little bit sunnier because we do want to go to the pool, but that's okay. Maybe it'll clear up in a little bit. Everyone say good morning to Chance. Chancey, say good morning to the people. Alrighty folks, so we are ready to head over to the Alamo Museum. I just want to show you a little OOTD. We have my butterfly shirt, some shorts, and then just some sneakers, but pinned my hair back a little bit. I never do this. I never like do anything with my hair, honestly, so I kind of like it. But yeah, we're going to head over there. Honestly, I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but I don't really know a whole lot about the Alamo. Babe, do you know? A little bit. A little bit. I I, I want to say that we like learned about it in high school, but that was like 10 years ago. So I really don't remember anything. So we're going to learn a little bit of history today, go see some cool stuff, and then probably actually head back up to the pool before we head out because we get to do like checkout as well. So I'm really excited about that. But yeah, I'll take you guys along with us. I'm not sure if I can film there. I'm pretty sure I maybe can. I guess we'll find out. All right, so we're back up at the pool. Dagan's over here. We just ordered a couple drinks and nobody's up here. So we have like the pool to ourselves right now. It's so nice. So we're gonna hang out with some drinks before we have to check out. All right, so it is the next day. Dagan and I uh, got back from San Antonio last night and I am still just like, that was such like a fun little mini, just like spur of the moment vacay. I can't get over how nice the hotel was. Like it was just, it was 10 out of 10 amazing. The staff was awesome. They loved Chance. He got so much attention and it was just a beautiful hotel. And we definitely want to go back there in the future. Um, just cause like everything was just great. The only thing that I was not impressed with was breakfast. We had in-room service. It was part of like our rewards thing that we get with our credit card and the breakfast was kind of like, meh, it wasn't that great. I wish I would have gotten something else, but it's, I mean, it's not that huge of a deal. And dinner, when we went and ate on the Riverwalk, we originally wanted to eat at this Mexican restaurant that was like right next to our hotel on the Riverwalk, but it wasn't open. I didn't even realize that until we were like getting ready to go. And then I looked at the website and realized they were still closed because of COVID. And so we went to this other seafood restaurant. I want to say it was called like, it was called Landry's and it's kind of like more of like a fine dining seafood place. But honestly, I didn't think their food was that great. I don't know if it was just that night or what. Dagan really liked his meal. He got salmon, but I got like the seared ahi tuna with like this vegetable orzo and the, the vegetable orzo was really good, but the ahi tuna, it just like wasn't good. It didn't taste fresh. It just was kind of bleh not that great. So I wish we would have gone somewhere else. But other than that, the experience was great. There's so much to do in San Antonio. We definitely want to go back because even just like walking around like the area of the city, we were like, oh, we should go check out that next time or this next time. And there was just a lot to do. Um, so we're definitely going to go back because it's only a couple hours away from us. But yeah, anyways, I wanted to show you guys that before I close out this vlog, I went and stopped at uh, Mac and Morphe on the way home. And then I also went over to Target and Ulta today because I need to restock some stuff for my kit. So I would figured I would show some makeup to those of you that enjoy makeup and whatnot and what I bought for my kit because I have been very, very busy lately with clients, which I am so, so grateful for and so blessed to have consistent work now. Um, but I am going through my makeup like hotcakes right now. So I need to restock up on some stuff. First things first, I just restocked up on my Morphe setting spray. I just, I love this stuff. I love the formulation, how it just comes out. It's just a nice fine mist. It's amazing. Next, I got this liquid eyeliner. I, it's just a regular liquid liner. I prefer to use gel just for sanitary purposes. I can take it out of the jar and whatnot. I kind of wanted to use a liquid liner to like top over like the lash strip and just kind of like darken everything. So I don't ever want the lash to like be peeking through. I did get a lip liner. This is in the shade Sweet. 
tea, which I'm not gonna swatch it because I sanitized everything already, so I don't have to re-sanitize everything. But I know this is a popular shade. It's a little bit more like warm and brown than I was anticipating, I guess. I like it, so, and it's a, like, I feel like everybody like has this shade. Speaking of lip products, I went to the MAC store and I got the shade Yash. There is this one makeup artist that I follow on YouTube. She does bridal makeup and she always uses this lipstick. Kind of looks more like brown on camera, but she always uses this on her bridal clients and it is so gorgeous. So I got it and I love it and it's it's beautiful. Lastly from MAC, I got a bunch of paint pots for primers because I usually use concealer for primers. Sometimes it can be like a little tacky and it just looks a lot on the eyes. MAC Painterly paint pots are so good. They're such a good eye base. A lot of makeup artists that I follow on Instagram or YouTube use it and I just wanted to try them out. So I got three shades. I got Lay and Low, I got Painterly and Soft Ochre. So they come in like different undertones, like Soft Ochre is like really more of like a yellow base for like Painterly and Lay and Low has more of like red pink undertone. So that way I can just like have a couple different undertones for different skin shades and tones. From Ulta, I just got some eye patches. I like to use eye patches for clients, um, for like, that are getting, that are, <laughs> I can't talk right now, bridal clients. I like to put the under eye patches on when I'm doing like their eyebrows and their eyes. That way they can have like ample hydration and that there's minimal creasing. White eyeliner, just in case they like, you know, more bright under eye. I was trying to look for a nude one. NYX, NYX used to have a, a couple different shades of like nude, eyeliners and I couldn't find them anywhere. I don't know if they discontinued them. So I got a white one and then I can always set it with like more of a nude powder. And then I got some more sponges because I always go through these things really fast. So these are just the real technique sponges. So from Target, I got a waterproof mascara for my bride. You always want to use waterproof eyeliner and mascara just in case there's tears, which there usually is. And then I got this NYX. Um, it's just a liquid eyeliner um, in it's waterproof. I got a bunch of lashes because I've been doing more and more um, boudoir clients. And so generally I do more heavier dramatic makeup and they want thicker lashes. So I love these ones. I always have them in my kit. They're from Ilure and they're just like really fluffy and they're kind of like, like three dimensional. I don't know, they're just really gorgeous on my clients. And then I got two of these from, what brand is this? Oh, this is from Kiss, 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 yeah. These are just foaming lashes, they're exactly the same, but they're just, ah, oh, they're so pretty. So I'm gonna see if my bride wants to use these tomorrow. If not, I'll just use them on boudoir clients. More makeup wipes. You can never have enough makeup remover wipes. I go I go through those things so fast. And then lastly, just Q-tips for obvious reasons, cleanup, sanitation, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of our mini vacay when I went to San Antonio and what I got for my makeup kit. Like I said, we had so much fun. It was just a nice little way to end Dagan's leave before he has to go back to work. And it was just great. We got to take a chance with us. Stay tuned because I am going to be putting out more Disney content as far as my vlog goes. I'll probably put this in between my other two vlogs. I still have some more park vlogs coming out. It just, it's a lot to go through. It's a lot of content to go through and it takes a while to edit and to find the right music and everything. Cause I don't just want to kind of like slap it together. I want to like, be fun to watch so yeah stay tuned for those because there is some more coming out and that is about it so yeah um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye